Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I will show you how we can create a Copilot agent that will call Microsoft Graph API using actions. So let's take an example. So this is my agent. So I have configured this agent to call the Microsoft Graph and which API we are calling? We are calling the Planner API and also the Office 365 Groups API. So I'm asking my agent that, can you show me all the tasks those are assigned to me and not started? So agent is gonna take this question, call the Graph API, collect the information and give me the results. There you go, so it bring back the result. Now I'm gonna try to ask some different questions. So next question I asked that, okay, instead of just showing me the not started task, can you show me all the tasks with all the status? And it's bring back all the tasks. Now I can keep asking different questions so the next question that I ask, can you show me all the groups that I'm part of? And it brings back all the groups. Now the goal of this video to show you how you can call the Graph API from Copilot agents using actions. Now, as you know, there are multiple various Graph APIs are available. I'm taking a couple of examples, but feel free to use any. And this, this method that I'm gonna show you can work with any API that you have under Graph or any other API that you wanna call. So if you wanna learn something like this, Stay tuned. Welcome back. And if you have not subscribed to my channel, go ahead and click, click subscribe button and also the bell icon so you will know when I'm gonna upload the new video. So before we start, the few things that you need to understand how we gonna create this agent that can call the Microsoft Graph API. And also one more thing I forgot to tell you, I will also show you how you can deploy this agents to your team's channel. Okay, so first thing you need to log into your Copilot Studio because this is where you're gonna create your agent. We also need to log into Power Automate because we're gonna use Power Automate to call the Graph API from the agent, okay? Once you log into your Copilot Studio, and if you have created a Copilot agent before, this is going to be pretty much standard approach of how you can create a Copilot agent. If you have not done it, and this is your first time creating an agent, you will end up the screen. There are multiple different pre-created agents from Microsoft that you can use. But for this video, we are gonna create a new agent. So I'm gonna click on create and new agent, okay? This is going to be the screen. You can skip to configure because we're gonna configure a few things. The first thing that we can rename this, you can give any name, whatever name you like your agent to have the name. You can also change the icon, put the descriptions and everything else. Uh, we are not talking about the knowledge in this video, but if you want to, if you want to learn how to, you can create different knowledge source into your uh, agent, I have another video that I'm gonna put the link also leave the comment if you want to learn more about how you can use different knowledge sources for your agent. Click create. So this is gonna set up your agent, create some other configurations, give you the final created agent that we're gonna use to start connecting to the Microsoft Graph. Okay, so our agents is ready. Now we're gonna go to the actions. Now what are the actions? So actions you can use to connect to any other connector or API. So once you're gonna click on add an action, you will have an option to create a new action. And as you can see here, I can create a new prompt. I can create a new Power Automate flow. That's what we're gonna do. You can also use a custom connector. So if you have built the custom connector for Power Platform, you can use that. Or if you have created any bot framework in Azure, you can use that as well. And also calling the new REST, uh, any REST API. That is for external data source, okay? Okay, so we're gonna click on new action, new Power Automate flow. That will take us to the Power Automate flow, okay? Once you reach here, it's automatically gonna add the trigger that is run from the Copilot and also the final step that is response sending back to the Copilot. So I'm gonna save as draft, okay? And I'm gonna click publish, okay? And I'm gonna switch back from new designer to the old designer. And this is again personal preference. You can keep working on the new designer as well. Okay, the first thing that I will do, I will rename this flow so it will be easier for us to see what is our flow. Now the next step, as we have discussed that we're gonna use the Microsoft Graph. 
So let's look what are the different graph APIs are available and what we can use in this demo and what you can use in your scenario. Okay, so as you know, uh, if you are working on Microsoft Graph and if you have worked with Microsoft Graph, to check or test any API, Graph API, you can go to the developer.microsoft.com Graph Graph Explorer. You can log in with your tenant login like I did and then you can test any of the available Graph API that you have. And there are a lot of them, right? It means as you can see here, the list is pretty long. We're not gonna use all of them and I'll, I'll, I'll show you which one you can use very easily and which one you need a little bit more complex setup. So the first API that we're gonna use using the Office 365 user connector, okay? So if you search for Office 365 user connector, this is a standard connector in Power Automate. What this connector does, if you look for the documentation, this connector has an action called send an HTTP request. And what this send an HTTP request allow you to do, as you can see here, you can use the Graph REST API, but it is only supporting two segment. You can use me or users. We're gonna try to use me. Now, to understand what is this, if you go to the Microsoft Graph API, as you can see here, so any Graph API that is initiated with me, we can use it. Now, if you, if you look at the different actions or operations available under this me, you can see you can have all the actions about me. You can get your emails, you can get your profile, you can get the documents that you are having access to, the document that I share with you. And if you keep scrolling down here, if you go to the planner, there is an uh, action called all my planner task. And as you can see, it is also after me. And if I run it, that's gonna give me all of my task that we are using planner. And again, this is an example. You can use any of these API in your Power Automate flow. Okay, so I'm gonna go back to my Power Automate flow. We're gonna click add an action, search for office. And here you have send an HTTP request. Now, if you have noticed, and as I said, the reason we are trying with this, because it's in a standard. If you want to use any other graph API that is not available here, you just search for HTTP. And then we have HTTP premium, right? This action allow you to call any graph API that you can see here and send back send that information back to your copilot. The only difference is it requires premium connectors, so you need to have correct license for this and you need to set up the authentication. This is a little complex. Maybe in future video I will show you how you can actually set up this and use it. Okay, so the point is you can use any API. Here we are trying to use the standard connector. So we pick this one and this particular Connector only support me and user endpoint, and we're gonna try to use this one to get all the tasks. So I'm gonna copy this URL, paste the URL, rest everything you can keep as it is. Now once we're gonna call this flow, it's gonna come here, it's gonna trigger this API and get the response. So what I'm gonna do, I'm, I'm going to create a variable where I'm gonna store that response. So we will do initialize a variable, Okay, and select the type object and I'm going to click another action here, set variable, select your variable and we're going to select the response of the send and HTTP request, the body entire response setting here and response to copilot, click on add an output, okay, select text, response. Okay, now here's a trick. So if you're going to get into the situation where you select the text and you don't see your variable here, it's because you declare this variable as an object, text is only gonna take string. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna change this to string, save it, it's gonna say something. So for now, I'm gonna just put test here so I can save the flow. Okay, then I'm gonna come back here. And as you can see here, I can see the body. I'll select that and I'm gonna change, change it back to object. This will work, it will hack, it will help you. Perfect, right? I go back to my copilot and refresh and I should be able to see my newly created flow here. And as you can see, right, demo agent flow. Click that, click add action. Okay, so it's gonna add this action here. The first thing that I want you to do, open this and we're gonna rename it. And I'll tell you why I'm renaming it. Okay, so I'm gonna call this my task because that's what this action is gonna do. This is very important. 
section description of the agent to know when to use this action because whatever you're going to type here that will responsible for triggering this action so what i'm saying here use this action when user asks any question related to task i'm going to save it i'm going to go back to action now if you have noticed we created this one flow right where we are calling this one api now what about if you want to use another uh, graph api right for example uh, the group so if you go back to the graph, graph explorer and if i go here to group and there is an action that actually can give me all the groups that i belongs to right so this api is giving me all the groups that i belongs to and any other api that you want to use maybe you want to use my profile or anything that is either me or user right so if you want to use this new api i don't want to create a new power automate flow instead i want to use the same power automate flow and call the same flow from different actions so i'm going to add a new action here and i'll show you the cool thing about it i'm going to select the same flow as we have created okay click add action so now what we are doing we are reusing our existing created flow for another graph api and i'll show you how you can do it so of course this action has been added we're going to click we are going to rename it and now the description is different so what i'm saying now use this action if user asks about my groups, what are groups he belongs to, is he part of any Sherpan group? So different act, different type of question that user may ask. And if you see any of these, trigger this particular action. Now the question comes in, because we are using the same flow, how the flow is going to know whether he is need to call this API or the new API that's going to give me the group information. So for that, what you need to do, save it. Okay, now if you go to the input section, there's nothing, right? So we're gonna go back to the flow, go to the trigger and add an input for this Power Automate flow. Click add an input tax and I'm gonna call it request type, okay? Save it, go back to our agent and we're gonna just reopen the action section or refresh this page. And now if I go to any of the action that I created, and click on the input tab you can see the request type is added okay now what we're going to do instead of dynamically fill the the best option i'm going to say set as value confirm and i'm going to say this is group action okay click action again go to the next one set as value and this is for task so now we have two actions the input parameter has been defined one thing that also we're going to do, if you see this message, message here, that's saying that enable the copilot to respond the best combination of the actions and topic using generative AI. Yes, we want it. So you're going to click on that and select generative preview if you want to and save it. Now I'm going to go back to the flow. Okay. Now we need to somehow let the flow know that based on the request type, you need to take action. So I'm going to click on the add action here and we're going to use a switch. So switch if action is task action that's the input parameter that we are passing from here right so if that is the case then on switch we're going to select the request type okay so if request type is action then i'm going to move these two actions there so send an http request to get all the tasks and set the variable we're going to click add and go to our second action input and if it is this then we're going to do the same thing office 365 user send an http request and this is our api this time to get all the groups okay and next action is set variable response and the second http response here okay click save okay pretty simple flow now I'm going to go back here, refresh it. Okay, now we're going to give a test. Now, one thing you're going to notice here that is here, the authentication. Okay, so if I go to the settings and if I go to the security, you can set up authentication type, different authentication type in your copilot. No authentication means you are trying to get information public. In our case, that's not the case because we are calling the graph API. So we have to use the authenticate with Microsoft. Okay, now if you use this, it's going to be, you can use this for Microsoft Teams, Power Apps, or any of the 365 Copilot. We are going to use this for Microsoft Teams. 
And because this copilot is using the authentication, I need to create that connection. So click on that connect and I need to verify this connection. So click connect. This is for Office 365 user that we are using. Click submit. Okay, so now it's connected. Now if I go back here, retry. Okay, so once I complete the connection and retry, and as you can see, I'm starting getting the result. Now this is the manual authentication. In a way, that means it's not really a manual authentication, but you need to at least confirm the connection one time. Now there is another method that allows you to do the single sign-on. I'm going to create a follow-up video where, you, where I'm going to show you how you can create a single sign-on with the Teams. But for this video, we're going to do, keep having this one-time confirmation so that when, whenever a user is going to use it, they need to at least confirm one time. And after that, it will start actually doing the single sign-on. So as you can see here, I just get my task and all of my tasks are here. Notice one thing. I'm going to say, can you short by status and as you can see here it actually did sort it by status let's try another one so i asked can you show only not a started task and it is only showing me the tasks that are not started this is all the copilot intelligence is working on the response that we got from the graph api so this is pretty cool now i don't need to build anything for this kind of questions it is copilot automatically handling it for me awesome right now let's ask the question about the groups. I'm gonna just say my groups. And now based on this switch that we have created and also the action that we've created, this will go, this will go to the second API. Okay, so I asked the question about my groups and as you see in, the, in our Power Automate flow, it's gonna go back, call the second API and get all the groups and send it to me. Now make sure when you are using this, your response should be the variable that we have created, okay? So both of our actions are working as expected, right? Now what we're gonna do, we're gonna publish this to the teams, test there and see if this works. So click publish, it's gonna take some time to publish this entire agent, okay? Once the publish completed, we'll go to the channel, select Microsoft Teams, okay? And of course, we're gonna turn on the Teams here and click on open agent. I'm gonna use the web instead. You can use the Teams app as well, there's no difference. And you will have this window, you need to click on add. This will add your agent to the Teams. Okay, open. So my demo agent is ready. I'm gonna start communicating with it. And remember, first time we have to confirm the connection because we are not using single sign-on. Similar questions, I'm gonna show me all of my tasks. It's going to ask me that, okay, we need to connect, click connect. It's going to ask a similar question. And this is only one time. Once you connect, it is there. Click retry. And here you go. Perfect, right? Yeah, so this agent is working as we expected. We were able to successfully call the two different graph API from the Power Automate via agent. We can actually practically use any of these API depending on what action. And the positive is, the best part is, that we are only making one call, getting the response, sending the entire response back to the copilot. And after that, we can use the copilot AI capabilities to work with that response and ask more questions related to that. Yeah, so that's it for this video. Uh, as I said, if you want, next video, I'll show you how you can create that single sign-on. So. You don't need to click this connect or anything. It will start working on as soon as you publish. Give a try, leave the comment, and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you very much.